Hi children, this is our sixth lesson on the seven I am saints of Christ. Before we begin, let us first put our hands together, close our eyes and pray to God. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you have given to us. And we can now continue studying more from the Bible. We pray that all the children here will believe in Jesus Christ and that their lives will show forth that they have truly believed. We pray that the children here may grow up to be godly men and women that love you. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. We are going to sing this song. This song is called, I Am The Way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. On the count of three, let's sing. One, two, three. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. One more time. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Today, we are going to learn the six I am saying of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Before Jesus went to die on the cross, he had this last meal with his disciples. And this is called the Last Supper. This was the time that Jesus knew he was going to go to the cross very soon, maybe in about a couple of days' time. He knew that the Father had sent him onto this earth to go and die on the cross. He knew that his time on this earth would not last forever. That's why Jesus had this last meal, this last supper with his disciples. He told his disciples that he will leave them soon. He told them that he will not be with them forever. He is going to leave them. And during this Last Supper, Jesus did many things for the disciples, like how Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, and Jesus prepared the meal, Jesus broke the bread in front of them, and also gave them the wine to drink. And Jesus told them many things during this Last Supper. Do you know that before a man passes away from this earth before a man dies, usually he will write up his will. He will write this will where he will tell his children or his grandchildren what he's going to do with all the things that he have, his money, his house, who will he give it to. And then he will also tell his close family members his last words. The last words is what Jesus Christ now is telling his disciples the last words before Jesus dies on the cross. That's why these last words are very important that the disciples hear and understand. And 
it is also very important that we today understand and also we know what Jesus Christ said before he went to die on the cross. So Jesus Christ at this last supper, he told his disciples that he will leave them soon. And one of his disciples named Peter asked Jesus, Jesus, where are you going? Why is it that you're going to leave us? I thought that you are going to follow us and you're always going to be our good teacher, our Lord, our master. Why are you leaving us? Jesus said that Jesus now, he is going to die and he is going to a place that Peter cannot follow. Peter cannot follow Jesus now to this place because Peter, his time is not up yet. Peter is not going to die. The one that is going to die is Jesus. So Jesus said that he will go back to heaven and Peter cannot follow him. But Peter will go to heaven in the future if he believes in Jesus Christ. But now is not the time yet for Peter to die. He hasn't finished his work on this earth. He still has to go and preach the gospel to many people. That's why Jesus said, now is not the time for you to follow me. Now is the time only for Jesus to die on the cross. And now is the time for Jesus to leave his disciples. So when Peter heard that, he felt very sad in his heart. He felt, oh, he wanted to follow Jesus. But now Jesus is going to die and he cannot follow Jesus. So Peter said, no, Jesus, don't leave us. I am willing to even sacrifice my life for you. I want to follow you every day. I want to follow you until I die. Jesus told Peter that you say that you are willing to sacrifice your life for me, but Peter, you will deny me three times before I even die on the cross. To deny someone is to say no. That means that before Jesus dies on the cross, Peter will say, I don't know Jesus. Who is Jesus? Peter will deny Jesus. He will say, no, I'm not a believer. I'm not a disciple of Jesus. So later, when the Jewish leaders have caught Jesus and wanted to put him to death, they saw Peter nearby. And that really happened. Indeed, Peter did deny Jesus three times. When the people, they said, Hey, are you one of the disciples of Jesus? I saw you near Jesus. Peter said, No, 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 no. I don't know Jesus. So Jesus already predicted that this will happen. And why did Jesus say all this? Because Jesus wanted his disciples he wanted Peter to know what was most important. The most important thing was not to just follow Jesus physically. That means Jesus walk right, I walk right also. Jesus go here, then I will go here. No, it's not about following behind Jesus, but it is following Jesus in their heart. That's what was most important. Jesus wanted them to be sure that in their hearts, they have truly believed in Jesus and that they will follow Jesus all the days of their life. Because after Jesus dies on the cross, now all the disciples, they will go forth to the Jews, to the Gentiles, to the world, to different parts of the world, and they will preach the gospel. And it will be a very difficult time for them. They will feel lonely, and people will persecute them. People will say, you're a Christian, I will put you to death. That's why Jesus wanted them to be strong in their hearts, to know that they are a true disciple of Jesus Christ and, they are, and in their hearts, they have really believed in Jesus Christ. So in order to encourage the disciples, Jesus said these last words to them in John 14. Jesus told them, Let not your heart be troubled. Don't be sad that I'm leaving. Don't be anxious. Don't be angry. Don't be anxious about what's going to happen in the future. Let not your heart be troubled. Do you have a cup of water with you now? If you have a cup of water, you pour, a cup of, you pour some water into a cup and you hold the cup 
look into the water, is the water still or is the water shaking like the waves? You know, right? The water is still on the cup. So this is what Jesus is saying. Let your heart be still like the water. Don't let it be like the waves that are going up and down. Don't be anxious. Don't be troubled. And how can their hearts be still like the water? It is by believing in Jesus Christ and having faith in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus says that now he promised to go to a place and he will prepare for them this wonderful place in heaven. When Jesus dies on the cross, after, he, after Jesus dies on the cross, he will now go back to heaven. And he will go to heaven and prepare a place for all the true believers in heaven. Jesus says that when I go to prepare a place for you in heaven, I will surely come again. This is the promise that Jesus has for his disciples. He goes to heaven, he prepares a place for the believers in heaven, and he will come again the second time to receive all the believers and take all the believers and bring them up to heaven. Heaven is a place that all the believers in the whole world can stay in. There will be enough rooms. It's not like our house that is so small when you can have like maybe five people or maybe maximum seven people living. But in heaven, it is a very big place where so many believers, all the believers of Jesus Christ, we can stay there and it will not be tight and squeezy. There's so much space there and it's so heavenly, so wonderful. The streets are made up of gold. Everything is perfect in heaven. And Jesus says that one day he will come and he will receive all the disciples, all the 12 of them, and he will also receive us to heaven if we believe in him. So this is a picture of heaven. You see the picture on the right here. It's this very beautiful city that I'm sure all of us will want to go and stay there with Jesus Christ. Heaven is God's house. Heaven is the place where God lives. And as believers of Jesus Christ, as disciples of Jesus Christ, we can also live with Him in heaven one day. So this is the perfect promise that God gave to His disciples. But Thomas, one of his disciples, asked Jesus, Lord, we know not where you are going. How can we know the way? He's asking Jesus, Wow, this place that you have promised is so good. I want to go to heaven. But what is the way to heaven? How can I get to heaven? I don't know the way there. Can I build a staircase long enough to get to heaven that is so high? Or can I fly my aeroplane to heaven? Thomas didn't understand. His mind was full of question mark. How can I get to heaven? How can we know the way to heaven? That's why Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said unto them, unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So how can Thomas and the other disciples know the way to heaven? How can they know the way? Jesus said, I am the way. Do you want to get to heaven? That is by going the way of Jesus. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Father here refers to God the Father. No man can go to God the Father who is in heaven except by the way of Jesus Christ. So the only way we can get to heaven is by going the way of Jesus Christ which is believing in what Jesus Christ did for us when he was on earth and when he died on the cross and when he resurrected three days later. We must believe in Jesus Christ. So have you ever seen a picture of a map before? When you want to get from point A to point B, you look at the map and then you follow the map. Or maybe you listen in the car. Sometimes your daddy will turn on the GPS. Turn right, turn left. So when we get, want to get from one place to another place, we 
we follow the map, follow the GPS. And Jesus now here says that you want to get to heaven, you must also follow the map. You must also follow the way. And this is the map of Jesus Christ. And he says that in order to get to heaven, you must believe in me. Believe in Jesus Christ. Believe in what he did for us. Believe in the love of Jesus Christ. That's how we can know how to get to heaven. It's so simple. It is not by donating one million dollars or it's not by now you have to walk all the way to Jerusalem. No. It is so easy. It is just believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth. Telling others that I have believed and this is true. I want to be a Christian. If you say this, if you believe and you confess, then Jesus says that you are now on the way to heaven. You are on the right way now. And Jesus not only says he is the way, Jesus is also the truth. So Jesus is the way. He tells us how to get to heaven. And he is also the truth because he is the true God. And everything that Jesus says is truth. It is true. Nothing fake or no lies at all. So in order for Jesus to speak the truth only, he must be 100% God. Because we know that if we are human beings, we will tell lies. We will not say the truth all the time because we are such sinful and bad people. But Jesus Christ, he says that he is the truth and all truth comes from him. That's why when he says that, he in the Bible, the Bible says that Jesus really died and rose again three days later. This is the truth and we must believe in the truth. The truth is that Jesus is the one who can give us eternal life. This is the truth. That's why at the last part he says, I am the life. I am the life because I am the one that you must believe in order to have eternal life. Jesus says, don't be too concerned about your physical life, what clothes you wear, but be more concerned about your eternal life. Do you really have eternal life? Will you really go to heaven? Have you really believed in Jesus Christ? Jesus says, quickly come and believe in me because I am the way, I am the thing, the path, the map that will lead you to heaven. And how can you get to heaven? It is by believing in the truth, believing in the Bible, believing in what Jesus says of himself. And lastly, that is how you will receive life. You will receive not just this life on earth, but you will receive eternal life. This life that you will be with heaven, you will be with Jesus in heaven forever and ever. That is the life that we look forward to. So as the sheep of Jesus Christ, we must now hear the voice of Jesus, obey the voice of Jesus because he is our shepherd and we must have faith to believe in him. Faith to believe that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. So for the disciples and us today, in order to get to heaven and to be with God, there is only this one way. Look at this picture. Look at where the man is standing. Can the man go to the part, this green part, the eternal life here? Can this man cross over from here to here if there's no bridge? No, right? He will definitely drop in. So without the cross, this man will drop and then he will drop into the lake of fire and he will die forever there. So how can man get from this point to this point. Men, sinful men, how can we ever have eternal life? How can we ever get to heaven? It is only by crossing this pathway, this bridge. And this bridge, this way is only made possible because of what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. Because of the death of Jesus Christ, he paid the price of our sin. Do you know that what God says about sin God says that the punishment of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. That means if you commit sin, you must die. But now, if 
we believe in Jesus Christ, we don't need to die anymore because Jesus had already died on our behalf. He has paid the price of our sin. That's why there is this bridge now where we can now have eternal life in heaven. We can now go to heaven and we can be with God forever. So now Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So for those who believe in Jesus Christ, you do not need to be afraid of anything. You do not need to be afraid that Jesus will not be with you. Jesus is not here beside you because you know that Jesus, he lives in your heart and you know that one day he will come again. He will come down to this earth and he will take all the true believers up with him to heaven. And we will be with God, we will be with Jesus for the rest of our lives in heaven. So this is the place in heaven that Jesus has prepared for you and for me today. All believers will live with Jesus there. So do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to go to this place that Jesus has prepared for you? If you want, you must believe in Jesus that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So let us sing this song one more time. I am the way, the truth, and the life. One, two, sing. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. So this is a short recap of what we have learned for the past six lessons. So let's try to recite them all together. Number one, I am the bread of life. Number two, I am the light of the world. Three, I am the door of the sheep. Four, I am the good shepherd. Five, I am the resurrection and the life. Six, what we learned today, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let us now close with a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you how we can learn that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by Jesus Christ. And we pray that all the children will believe in Jesus Christ. He is the way for us in order to get to heaven. And we pray that we will all look forward one day we will be with you in heaven and we will enjoy you and we will also sing praises unto you in heaven and learn so much more things with you in heaven. So we pray that while we are on this earth, we will look forward to the future when you will come again. And we will now live our life on this earth to be a good testimony, to be the light of Jesus Christ wherever we go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.